All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm working on my Tesla Model S door handle. This is 2015, and I'm going to hold this microphone up to the door handle so you can kind of hear what's going on. Hopefully you can hear that, but what's happened is the little paddle gear, the metal paddle gear that pushes this door handle out has broken off, and now the motor is just spinning, and this door is now disabled. I can't even get into it. This just happened, like, seriously 20 minutes ago. And I've repaired this on the passenger side and the passenger side rear and front. So this is the, now the driver's side has failed. That's happened in the last couple months. So within three months, three door handles have failed on this car. It is a 2015, so it's not like it's new. I mean, they've lasted seven years. But if you have an older Model S, be prepared to fix these on your car. Now, I'm just, what I got to do, because I've done two of them already, I feel like I've got a little experience. The front is a lot different than the rear. Okay, the front is actually harder than the rear because the front you have to almost uh, remove this front window to get to, to get to the, there's a bolt that right right here that you have to, have to get, you get to. So what you want to do is you want to get you one of these repair kits. You can get these on Amazon. They're about 60, 70 bucks. I actually bought, when I bought one for my front passenger door, I, I bought four of them because... It was such a hassle when this went out, and I didn't want to have to wait for parts. If I was, the, and the other thing, guys, you you want to be able to do this yourself because if you if you contact Tesla about this, say, hey, my door handle's fell, I can't get in my car. They'll be like, okay, schedule an appointment. A week later, they'll get you in. So it's like they, they won't quickly fix this for you. If this isn't a quick fix, but your car is almost unusable because I cannot I cannot get into my driver's side door. The kit comes with, an, this is the gear that failed. So see this gear, that, this is just a little, I don't even know what they call this. It's just a little gear. It breaks off like right, it, it breaks off right here. This one's a lot more heavy duty and it won't break. And then it comes with two new micro switches and it comes with some door clip panels. So the, the symptoms of a bad door handle is, for example, the last probably, I don't know, four or five months, this handle would pop out. I'd go to pull it and it wouldn't like, it wouldn't, engage the door that wouldn't pop the door open and that's a symptom of a bad micro switch the micro switch isn't sensing the pressure on the door handle and so it will not open and so it would that would be intermittent and then today finally just this this hand this little gear broke it's a super huge inconvenience when it breaks because you just can't get in that door that door is disabled not that big of a deal if it's like a rear door but the driver's door that's the main door you need so I've done two of these. I feel I can do this one. I, I can do this pretty confidently, but I, I have to pick my son up from school in like an hour and 30 minutes. And I'm going to try to bang this out seriously as fast as I can. So it may not be like the best. I may not give you the best camera angles, but I'm going to walk you through the process of how this is done. If you own a Model S, guys, learn to do this because... Don't rely on Tesla doing this for you. All right, couple steps here. We gotta remove the door panel. Get your little pry tool. And there's a little rubber pad over the bolt on inside this door handle. See that there? Just pry it up. That reveals a, should be a 10 millimeter bolt. Sometimes easier to use a drill. All right, 10 mil. Okay, 10 millimeter bolts out. Now, the next one we have to remove. Uh, get your same little pry tool. There's a little panel right behind the door, the door latch. You just want to, you just want to get this behind the panel. And just pry it out. It's pretty, pretty simple. There's two Torx bits, 20 T27s. One out there, open the handle here, the next one out. Those are all the bolts holding this whole door panel on. Now the rest is just held on my clip. So two T20s, 27s. Okay, now the rest of this is, uh, you want something to rest the door panel on. There's going to be a little strap that's holding the door panel on, like a safety strap. Let me get a, I want to start pulling the panel there's just it's just held on by clips so if I grab right here
See how I did that, guys? So it just pops off. It's just po it's just panels. Now, the other thing you want to do, get your T25 out. The door, instead of taking the, the cable off of the door latch, I'm just unscrewing the entire door handle mechanism. Okay, there's just three T25 screws holding this on. I'll show you when I get this out. I think this is the easiest way to get this the door handle out. So three T25s, let me show you how those. So see the door handle here? The door handle is held on by these three bolts and then there's a, an alignment pin. So just unscrew those bolts from the back of this thing that way, this thing will just hang down. Now we just have a couple electrical connections. They're just like wire, little wiring harness. There's just a little, just a pin you pull down and they pop off. Okay, so I got all the connections off. Okay, can you see that? See how this door panel is resting on that cooler? There's a there's an orange strap right here. See this orange strap? This prevents the door panel from I don't I don't actually I don't know what it does, but these are all the connections. One, two, three, four. There's four electrical connections. Most of them are two of them are lights, one's I don't know what the rest are for. But you got those there. Now what we have to do is we have to gain access to this panel here. We take this panel off. This also should be a T25. Nope, it's smaller. It's probably a T T20. Twenty-five. So yeah, T20. So the door handle ones are a T25. The ones for the handle up here are T27. These are T20. So make sure you get those three sizes of torque bits. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, we got six of those. Set those aside. Now that I took that off, I can really hear that thing humming. I'll show you that. There's a little, there's a little uh, connector at the bottom of this door handle assembly. You can unconnect and it just disconnects the power to it. So I think it just stops running. It will never stop running, guys. I had my pat rear passenger one. It probably ran for a week before I got the parts and figured out how to, to, to turn it off. So just be aware of that. Now, there's a couple There's a couple bolts. Well, I think there's three or four bolts that hold this assembly in. Looks like they're, they're a 10 millimeter. One of them is at the very top here, and you have to take off this top trim on the window. So let's do that right now. Okay. If you, oh, geez. All right. If you just take just take this chrome trim piece off, you can you can get access. This thing's, this thing's kind of awkward to. See how was this? This is our ten millimeter bolt that fell out of here. It goes in right, right there. So we'll set that aside. So we got that, that, those three. Okay. Okay. Next step, we have to get this assembly out. There's, there's plenty of clearance here to get this whole assembly out. We just have to unscrew it. And there's four bolts that are hard to get to. Peel back a couple of these. There's this kind of aluminum, looks like a sound deadening type of a tape that's over these holes. We're gonna reuse it. Okay, this top bolt right here, this actually loosens the clamp on the window. So it's connected to the window regulator. actually don't give us that much access. All 
All right, so we got to get these four bolts out. So the, the the window, or not the window, but the door handle assembly is up is right in here. You can kind of see some of the wires here. There's one bolt that's real easy to get to. So we get, we'll bang that one out. Okay, that's a that one's out. Looks like those they all look like this that are holding holding it on there. Okay, the next one you can get to through this hole right here. Luckily, they give you an access hole for this one. Okay, number two's, up, two's off. So we got one, two out. And I think there should be four. There's four of them. Okay, now there's one down here on the bottom. I should be able to get to it from this hole right here. And then the fourth one, actually fourth or fifth one. Well, well, stay tuned. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how many we got here. Actually, I need this light. Helps to have a. A swivel extension on this because it's not a straight shot in there okay I dropped this screw down into the door but it fell into the door lock mechanism and it took me probably 45 50 minutes to find the screw so it was a it was a disaster I had the window regulator re replaced by Tesla and look at this guys this is a little panel that goes over the door handle assembly and it's got this black sticky stuff on it. And when I was rolling my window down, right after I replaced that, I was getting this black sticky stuff on the window. I'm like, what's going on, guys? Like, like, oh, we just need to readjust it or something. And so instead of readjusting it, they just threw this down the bottom of the door. And and now this whole assembly is just uncovered, which, I don't know, crazy. All right, I lost the other nut down there. I just got to get a... They are magnetic, so you can... But when this, when this piece is not over this assembly, you know, there's a gap around the door handle, and elements are getting into the door area here. So, you know, water, dirt, debris. As you're driving, you go to the car wash, it's just going to... Like, you get water down inside the door. So, nice, nice, uh, nice reassembly on that one, Tesla. It looks like to be able to get into this other, I've got to get the window down. So what do I need to do? I need to connect my, first I need to reconnect my door panel card the window, with the window switch so I can roll the window. Sorry about that. All right, I got the driver window down. And then I have to... Okay, and I unplugged it. All right, I'm gonna try to give you guys a shot of this. We'll see if, we'll see if this works. This is one of the ways to do this without taking the window out. At least, at least to get it out. Let's see if we can get a shot down here. Down here in the window, can you see this little, can you see the, see the nut right there? The little, all right, so the, the nut is, yeah, so it's, it's a 10, it's a 10 mil, I guess I didn't need the window down. Somehow I was, I was looking at it and needed the window down. Get a little ratcheting 10 millimeter wrench like this. This is the easiest, I think the easiest way to get this off. It's tightening, I'm gonna loosen it. So I'm gonna use the open ended part here. Use the open ended part here and then just, I'm unscrewing this nut. And this is if I 
put my if I put my closed end on this. Oh, I got I got it out. That was lucky. That was super lucky. All right, guys, looks just like the other ones I took out. So note to self. So the, remember the blue clip goes inside of the the window switches. And let's see here. Okay, windows up. To get you some wire cutters, and there's a I'm not sure if you can see this one. This this little brown clip here. No, it's actually okay. This little black connector. We want to disconnect that. That way, all the wires are now loose. There's actually moisture. I can feel moisture on this because I took this to the car wash yesterday. And it's not a perfect seal around that do the door handle because it can move in and out. It's not a perfect seal there. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to do this. I'm just trying to move it out. There's like these, where those nuts are, there's studs that are welded into the door. And you have to pull it away from the, those studs in order for it to drop down and then you can pull it out. So there's, it's stuck on one of these studs. Looks like I might have to remove the window clamp here. I know this is, this is a pain, this is a pain kind of right here, guys. So, uh, let's see. The bolt right here, it's also a 10 millimeter. This thing won't come out without this window out of, of the top. All right, I just took this bolt off. This is the clamp for the window. Right through this hole, you can kind of see it's, it's there's like a silver plate, and then there's this little, this is this, this small one. That's different than the other ones. But if we remove that, what happens is it unclamps the window, and we can actually, To have a glove on, there's just a lot of sharp edges that your hands are touching here. All right, here we go. So, see how the window can slide up like this once I remove that clamp bolt. Oh, see that? That allowed the door handle to come out. So, I can just set that back down. That's kind of a, well, that's about how it is on the passenger side, so. All right. Here's our door handle assembly. It's a big, heavy assembly. We've just got to take apart this part right here and replace a couple wires, replace that little gear, and then we can put it back in. So we're going to try to get that done real quick here. Okay, we have our replacement parts here. I'm going to put a towel down. I'm just going to put a little towel down so I don't scratch the face of the door handle the chrome of the door handle. Okay, we've got a new C-clamp and our, I don't even know what this is called, the metal gear, whatever that is, all right? And then let's get out this. These come with extra door clip panels. And these two new wires, these two new wires we're gonna replace, these little switches we're gonna replace, and then this, this gear right here. All right, get your wire cutters here. Okay, there's a little zip tie. This zip, zip tie is what we have to get rid of. Since we're replacing this one. So we gotta get these cables out of the way here. Okay, here's our connection here. I need to, need to snip the zip tie right here. Just wanna be very, very careful when doing these zip ties. We don't clip any wires. All right, we got that one. So the harness that we're replacing is this one right here. It plugs into there, and it's going to replace this switch and this switch. So they're actually they're on both sides of the 
the door handle, the plastic part here. So those two there. They have small little Torx bit. Probably looks like a, is it T15 or T10. But we have to back out this. We first want to take off. Oh man, what happened here? This wires, this part's all chewed up here. This is, these look like T27s. We're gonna take we're gonna take the cover off the motor, and then we're gonna have to back this thing out so that we can the door handle will pull out so we have access to get to the side of these screws here. So okay, the T25s. So let's get these four bolts out. One, two, three, four. All right, that's going to remove the plate off the back of the motor. Or remove the motor. Okay, can you see down there the little silver metal gear? So how it's gonna go back in is like that. So there's these little loops down here. The loops break off on this. That's what's broken. I just, I pushed the door handle out. Look at that there, that's, that's, what, that's what it looks like when it's. This one's a beefier part. It's made out of a heavier duty, duty metal that's not gonna, it's a lot thicker than this. This is. A really thin metal right there. They just break. So in order to get this one on, in order to get this one on, we just have to push this pin back here. Here there's this pin. We're going to push the pin until it gets to right there. This is just giving the pin a little bit of lubrication so it slides out easier. Okay, the most important part here is I don't want to, so I need to push this pin all the way back to right here so that I can slip this new gear in and push the pin back through it. But I don't want it to get past this spring here. So I need like a pick, something like this that I can push down inside of this hole. Small Phillips would probably work too. Small Phillips would probably work better. The pin is been pushed. So this metal rod here, I pushed it, I pushed it through uh, so that it's just sticking out to right there. Now these pieces right here are actually the broken off. These are actually the broken off pieces from the old broken, the old broken um, part. Now that I have the pin pushed back, I can put in my new gear. I just want to make sure I clear out all those so, I, so this one goes in like like that. I push that in and then I push this rod back through so it goes through the holes there and out this side. One thing you want to do is so this little this little guy right here, this little sensor, it's on a bracket. And in order to get the new metal gear in there, I don't even know what, what I'm calling that thing. I'm just calling it a metal gear. All right, we're just call it that. I'm just want to take out this thing. Okay, so I can put this in. So this goes in the gear, the ridge side down. Oh snap, that didn't have the C-clip. Guys, I missed the step because this didn't have that in there. I don't know why. Maybe I broke it. Okay, I missed a step taking it apart, but I'm gonna show you right here. up here. All right, the step I missed, so see how there's a little groove inside this rod? Well, there's a C-clip that goes in there. It comes with a new C-clip, so get some pliers, and then I'm just going to, you want this, this groove to line up with the groove in the plastic, and we just put a C-clip in there so it holds this rod from moving. Okay, get some needle nose, grip the little C-clip, and put it in. Rod's been pushed to the right position. This thing's now in. I just have to reconnect this little guy. So get your, I think it was a T15. Oh, T10. 
Now we just need to loosen this. This actually, this is the adjuster nut that sh that that allows allows you to adjust how deep or shallow the door handle moves into the assembly. So we actually want to move this out so the handle can move out so that we can get to the side of these uh, the side these little screws on the side of these sensors because as they are right now they're almost level here you can't really get a screwdriver into that all right guys this is a t40 so get a t40 so you need a lot of different torx bits so far we've used a t40 27 25 15 this is a 10 you need a 10 so it's like you you need just like a get a full We want to loosen. We want to loosen this. Okay, on this one on the left side. This so remember this is the driver side. I want to actually just to reassemble. I just want to reassemble these as I'm taking them apart. I don't think you can reassemble them incorrectly because there's a, a screw hole in a in a pinhole so I'm putting the new one on get my screwdriver in there my torx driver in there to tighten that down okay that's tight so that's good there this one's also hard to get to so I'll turn it around like this let me get my screwdriver down in like that. Even this way, I'm still not, I'm kind of going at it at an angle. So you just want to be careful you're not stripping that screw out because you don't want to have to try to, this one is actually into metal. This one's actually. This new one, I'm going to bring it down through here like that, the way the same way that one was routed. I'm just going to push the door handle out, slide my screwdriver in, and then just slowly tighten down. There's a little, there's a little, there's a little, uh, a little piece that sticks out that kind of goes into a groove. So you just want to make sure that's lined up before you tighten it down. And that just really helps make sure that it gets in the right alignment. Okay, that's tight. All right, now that I have the new switches installed, I can unplug the old harness. And it's actually, okay, so here's our old harness. We're going to throw that away. And we're going to plug our new one in. All right, one thing I'm doing as a preventive measure is I'm wrapping electrical tape around these harnesses because, the, like I was explaining, water intrudes through the door handle opening the door handle spacing. And so I'm just wrapping electrical tape around here because these are electrical connections. I'm just going to tighten this down. I'm going to approximate it back to where I th where it looks like it was. For example, this needs to be protruding slightly. The way it looked like when it came out, it was just, it was just protruding slightly from the, the assembly, the housing here. So that's about where it was before. Now I'm going to slide my motor back in. There's a little pin and there's a hole on this side. I'm just going to slide this in like that for T25s. Got a manual one. I'm just going to go through and make sure. Okay, they're good. Make sure you have small zip ties, a couple of these small little zip ties. Just want to make sure these wires don't get in the way of the window regulator. The window regulator runs up and down right, right in front of this thing. 
and there's any loose wire or anything like that it'll just get ripped off by the by the window coming up and down okay I'm plugging this is the the motor now this bundle right here I just need to get this kind of flattened down there's a zip tie I'm gonna zip tie this thing. This thing's kind of flying up like this. I'm gonna get this down. I'm gonna make sure there's enough slack that the wire that these wires can easily bend in and out because when the door handle presents itself like that. Get it put back in the car, plug it in, make sure that it's working. And put the door panel back together. This is this is actually the hard part trying to get this uh back in all right before i go through the hassle of getting everything put back inside of the door here i want to make sure this is actually working so i can actually just plug this harness in all right all right got it retracted to do that i had to uh, push down this lever inside the door so it makes it think that it's closed so before it opens up make sure the key's not near the car either it'll stay open so I'm going to disconnect it now. I'm going to use the door handle inside the car here to pop that open so that way the door can now close. So if you can see here, let me just kind of give you an idea where these bolts are. So there's one up top. This is the one that's up, up top. It's the hardest one to get to. And you've got one up here, here, and down here. The bolt from this one when I was taking it out fell down inside of this mechanism and I it was hard to find, but luckily I did. All right. I'm putting it back in without the cover on. Like I explained, it's just the cover's kind of ruined. So, so what I need to do is I have to lift the window up out of the slot in order to get this top bolt through this opening. The bolt, it's basically like right there and the window is in the way. So the window's lifted out, we're able to get that on there. All right guys, so here's what I'm doing. <clears throat> I have the four bolts loosely on there and I want to loosen them up and I want to, I'm putting this cardboard around, around the trim of the door handle. So that way when I tighten it down, it doesn't, you know, it kind of stays centered inside of the opening. So I'm just going to, so you, you don't want to just tighten it down without centering it inside of this, this line there. So that's what I'm doing work on right now. I have this little pick tool with the window lifted up and through there so I don't, uh, I don't have anyone holding it for me. And while I secure that top nut up here, all the rest, I'll slowly do those as uh, I have this spacer in there. All right guys, so I was able to reach up underneath there and get the nut started here and then I can just tighten it down with this open-ended wrench. All right, so I got the four bolts secured back down. This one you have to obviously get to, to the other side with an open-ended wrench. These three you can get to with a socket. So I got it pretty well bolted down. It's centered in the, in the door handle. So this is, and then this next part here. So I took the clamp off of the, the door or uh, the window and what I'm going to, actually the easiest way to, I know this, this is a pain in the butt, but I'm going to have to do this. I need to lower the window down to about right here. So there's this, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Of course, I can't get to it. So now I've got to reconnect the door panel, roll the window down, unconnect the door panel. All right, let's see here. Gosh. 
turn on. All right, about right there. I basically need to get that silver. Okay, now this little piece here on the window regulator is down below the door handle assembly, so now I can reconnect. Let's see here. Okay, this piece here, it just there's just a little notch this goes into here, and then it, it, this is basically clamping the window. Hey Zane, do me a favor, hold the window up again, okay? Can you just hold, hold it up a little bit? Hold it right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, let it back down. All right, so you have to lift the window up in order to... Okay, now I'm just gonna loosely put the nut on here. See, now I have to get this up to here so I can screw the nut in when it's all the way extended. So, let's put this back on. All right, now our, our bolt we just put on right there is hanging out right there. Let's get this sucker tightened down. And the hope now is that, okay, that's tightened now, so all the bolts are back on now. The, the hope is that the window is going to be in the same angle and it's not going to have any loud air leaks. That happens. Let's put these little pieces of aluminum tape over the holes. right there. All right, let's screw this one on to T25s, I think. The door handle cable goes through this, so you just want to make sure that that's routed. There's a little opening right there. That's where that goes. Make sure that's lined up. All right, next part, what I'll do is Put the panel back here, clip everything in, and I gotta screw this handle back in. Okay, door handle's back on. Now I just gotta put the panel on. All right, I'm just pulling the panel into the clips here. Jeez, get it started by hand. Okay, I just put these two screws back in. These are these are T twenty sevens, ten millimeter inside the door. All right, I still have to put the trim piece on. I want to check. check the operation making sure it's I know that it extends oh are you kidding me are you kidding me right now saying go inside the go inside the passenger side of the car okay all right guys so made a huge mistake I put the whole door panel back together without connecting the wiring harness so there's no power to this so i had to take everything back apart put it back together another 30 minutes wasted this probably took me about four hours so it's all done now and if we see now we touch the touch the door handle pops out good pops the door open it's really responsive now the final final steps just got to put the rubber pad back there 
little panel right there is good to go. And the luckily the glass now lines up really well too. So the glass is nice and snug. There's no gap there. There's no wind noise there. So sometimes when you mess with the window, you can affect the the wind noise. Wind, wind will get in there. But luckily it's not. So everything's good now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you found this at least entertaining. It is doable. Even though it's a huge hassle and it was a, he a big headache doing this and took longer than I was expecting, it's still better than dealing with Tesla service. Tesla service is a joke. If I would have tried to schedule a service, they would have got me in like a month later and I would have been without a driver's side door door handle for a month. I mean, that's just kind of how their, their situation, that's how their service is. It's backlogged. It's not very good. And it's... Um, you know, a joke. So you got to you got to be resourceful when you have these cars. You got to be able to fix them yourself. Anyways, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Like I said, uh, leave your comments down below if you've had frustrations with these door handles. But really, once you once you get your window regulators and your door handles kind of fixed, I mean, those are the only main things that fell on this car. Once those have been fixed and upgraded, you know, pretty good. Drivetrain solid. And you know, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Anyways. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.